So now we're going to look at a theory called the finance death curve. When we look at the finance death curve, we can see there we got the our cash. So you can see that actually it's positive and negative. So it's not the baseline isn't zero. If we put the baseline on, so that's over time. How long we don't know. That's kind of the, one of the the main issues and, and fun things about the finance death curve. The, the time's not always a guaranteed. And we can see there that we do actually have a positive and negative aspect of it. So first thing we've got to look at is cash flow. And this is where the finance death curve is almost the theoretical underpinning of that phrase, you've got to spend money to make money. And you can see there that eventually we are in negative equity. We are losing money before we start to make money. So there's a lot that it will cost, such as a sell machine, you know, the setup, the supply chains, you have to make a few prototypes, see if it works, test it out, still paying all your staff during this point, etc. Then eventually we have the business launch and there's the sales. But notice how they happen afterwards. And notice how we're still losing money. Even though we start to make some sales, there we go, there's the first sale. We start to make some sales, we're still not actually making any money at that point. So just because we made some, made some sales, we don't make you know, a positive cash flow until much later on. And once again, this is one of the other reasons why 50% of new businesses fail within the first couple of years, because they've got this death curve wrong. They don't understand just how long they'll be before they start to actually make money. Even though they're making sales, there's an issue with the sales doesn't equal profit. And there we go. As we said there, there's a gap there. There's a lag where we have to establish the business, find customers, you know, you, uh, credibility before uh, reliability, etc. So how do people know that you're the company to trust, etc. So we've got some gaps there. And the key thing is this point here, this little arrow at the bottom there is about your kind of your pain threshold. What, how much are you actually allowed to borrow? And this is one of the hard things to estimate in business. How much are you allowed to borrow? How much do you really need to make this concept work and before you can start to make a profit on it? And this is where a lot of the traditional debt financers are a bit reticent to join in because they don't know how much that figure is going to be and they don't know how long it's going to be before you start to turn a positive cash flow. They're banking on it just as much as you. That's why a lot of the lenders will require some kind of guarantees, uh, etc. So it's a very interesting thing. As I said, it, it's great that it's all there, but the, the key, the crux of it is, is at what point are you going to start to make money? And where, where's your paying threshold? How much are you going to lose before you start to make money back? And that's one of the key things about the financial death curve.